catch the spritz on the spritz up so for water. This is great with white water coming out. I thought it was cool. Australian hardwood known as Jarrah, which is said to most resemble the original oak. The rigging contains 18 miles of rope. The standing rigging is made of manila. The running rigging is of a synthetic fiber, as are the sails. Soon it's five o'clock. Time now to sling the hammocks. Each hammock is slung according to the watch numbers on the bulkheads. The tighter the hammock is slung, the more comfortable. Evenings are spent trying to sleep or getting up to go on watch. Once every three days, a close to normal sleep of seven hours in a row is possible. Midnight to 7 a.m. Show all my bruises. Put makeup on your arms. Well, them ships of rods and spine do shine. Oh, I am them nuns all. They'll not forget the year of five. Mars forever! The great cabin was Captain Cook's quarters, normally the preserve solely of the captain. On this voyage, though, Cook had to share his cabin with Banks, 
the botanist, and Parkinson the artist. Banks collected over 30,000 specimens on the voyage, some 1,000 animals and 1,200 never before discovered specimens of plant and marine life. Parkinson did over 1,200 drawings, many of them fine watercolours. Spritzels and tagallants, halyards, downhauls and clean. Can't bloody remember for clues, bunts and reefs. Four o'clock. Now it's time for another hearty meal, prepared and served by Joanna. This duty is shared by the crew. Another example of fine <laughs> teamwork. Yeah, right. I'm wearing my wool socks. You'll grow up. Yeah, but you know, the stupid one. Uh, did we bring oh. you back to life? Yeah, I've got a headache. Hi, watch me. Yeah, so Many of the new crew find the routine of physical work to be very tiring. Muscles never before used are put to work. And the fear of heights is soon overcome. Quickly race up there, quickly. 
and uh, show Ray what bit he wants to grab hold of. The first time up the Ratlands can be a scary experience, but after a few climbs, it's a piece of cake. Okay, good. Let's Yesterday you were there. The idea, what we're trying to prove here at the moment, is or do is what an 18th century sailing ship of this type would have done. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're still playing the 18th century game at the moment. One or two of you understand, we're a little bit concerned that we were trying to get down one to Fuca a little bit early yesterday. We could still be here on Sunday. <laughs> so, the reason for trying to get up there was in order to try and compensate for what exactly has happened. The wind is predicted to pick up again later on this afternoon at about midday or whatever and go around to the west like it did yesterday and then we'll make some more ground then we'll go ballet dancing again in the middle of one if we go straight overnight and then hopefully carry on going. down the straight and what is possible a possibility tonight is that we're, we're hoping that we won't ever have to use the engines again until we're right up just motoring the last little bit into more towns in.
the back of the room, man. We're picking up two more uh, guys down here. Keep hey, pulling. That's it. Either way, swirl me on the stern line. Hold right. on. Bow line. Oh. Ease away, your bow line. Ease away, your stern line. Ease away. Bit more slag. Expendable, that's what it is. Stop. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do it. Interesting, and you know, we said, <laughs> Hey, you, have the call. He's doing it, I'm doing it. He's just like. <laughs> Phil, you look really exhausted. Let's see, lack of rest and snoring in the next bunk. I'm not very happy. No, well, it's just weak, mate. He's yeah. left eyed. Uh, <laughs> Alright, here we go. What's this? Yeah, I'm sure it did. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, thank you. Smile. Alright. The work is nearly done. of the ship's boats. Uh, when it never sailed, she had six boats. So we're just basically sailing with four and a half, like, you know, we've got any other modern day yacht kind of thing. 